part of our faith that we are supposed to be taught many things. And one of the most important things that we are taught when we are young children, it is the concept of Al-Iman. The concept of believing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But many of us have became short of understanding the real concept of what Iman is all about. If we open the book of Fiqh, and if we open the books of our scholars, they tell us that Iman is not just something that is believed in our hearts and stop there. They say that Iman is qawlul lisan wal i'tiqadu bil qalb wal amalu bil jawarih. That Iman is not just something that is just came down into our hearts and we stop. It is Iman is something that we say with our tongue and it's something that is deep inside of our heart and something that is reflected with our senses. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wanted to establish this with us from the beginning. And he read, he read to us a very beautiful hadith and he said, Al-Imanu bid'un wa sib'una shu'ba A'laha la ilaha illa Allah wa adnaha imadatu al-adha an al-tariq That Iman is something that is 70 or plus sections. The highest one is saying la ilaha illa Allah and the lowest one is removing harm from the road. In which that he shows us that Iman is not just something saying something with our tongue only, but something that is with action. Many of us now, we live in an era where we think that Iman is something that is deep in our heart and the wrist and your senses and whatever comes after that is totally up to you. The Salaf have understood this concept fully and they wanted to apply and implement each and every action of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, each and every order of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and you will you'll find some of them walking around saying La ilaha illallah and they would remove harm from the road because they want the highest section of Iman and the lowest section of Iman all put together. But what happened? What happened to us? As Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala have said, فَخَلَفَ مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ خَلْفٌ أَضَاعُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَاتَّبَعُوا الشَّهَوَاتِ فَسَوْفَ يَلْقَوْنَ غَيَّةٌ And people have inherited the deen after them. They have followed their own desires and they neglected the orders of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and His Prophet. Indeed, they will see the punishment of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala sooner or later.